Proverbs 13, verse number 5, the Bible reads, A righteous man hateth lying, but a wicked man is loathsome and cometh to shame. When you're wicked, when you become you know, a wicked sinner, you come to shame. The Bible says, Jeremiah 3.24, you're in Psalm 119, just stay there. Jeremiah 3.24, the Bible reads, For shame hath devoured the labor of our fathers from our youth, their flocks and their herds, their sons and their daughters. We lie down in our shame, and our confusion covereth us. For we have sinned against the Lord our God, we and our fathers, from our youth even unto this day, and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God. It says, We lie down in our shame because we have sinned against the Lord our God. God will bring you to be ashamed. And for some people, it, it takes getting deeper and deeper and lower and lower. But the, the longer you stay in sin, the more ashamed you're going to be. Psalm 119, look at verse number 5. Oh, that my ways were directed to keep thy statutes. What a great verse. Yes, I wish my ways would just be directed, God, all the time to keep your statutes, to keep your laws, to not sin. Then... Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect on all thy commandments. That guy I talked to, like I said, if he's, if he's saved, he ought to be ashamed of himself. Because he doesn't have respect unto all of God's commandments. He's not seeking his ways to be directed to keep the statutes of the Lord. And you know what? It's easy to, to, to throw it off at other people. That was an easy example. But where is your heart? Where is your mind when it comes to sin? Are you looking at the laws of the Lord, at God's statutes to direct your ways? Is that where you're getting your guidance from? When you have respect into all of God's commandments, then you won't be ashamed. Turn, if you would, to 2 Samuel chapter 12. 2 Samuel chapter 12. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 11, And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Another New Testament passage telling us how we ought to live and how we ought to behave as New Testament Christians, you know what? Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. What's that going to include? All manner of sin and wickedness and lewdness and, and vileness. But rather reprove them. What does it mean to reprove? Tell them they're wrong. Wow, that sounds real judgmental of you. Yeah, it's called the Bible. It's called the New Testament. It's called Ephesians chapter number 5, verse number 11. Why don't you read it sometime? but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. There are sins, there are things that wicked people do in secret and darkness that the Bible says it's a shame even to talk about it. Even to bring it up, it's a shame. But then on the other hand, you've got people going, well, we're just going to love it all. It's a shame to even talk about it. You're supposed to hate it. 